Hey guys, what's up? This is X, and today I wanted to talk about my impressions so far with the uh, with the latest ESO chapter, which is called Elsewhere. Now, Elsewhere, in case you didn't know, uh, dropped not this past Tuesday, but the Tuesday before. And I really wanted to do a video earlier, but I have like so many games I've been juggling around trying to get through my back catalog, so I didn't get a chance to really delve into it as much as I wanted to. And it's only been just recently that me and a friend of mine uh, have been, you know, really uh, hitting this uh, latest chapter uh, fairly hard to try to, you know, try to get through it. But um, anyway, as far as uh, the content you get, it's actually a pretty good amount. The Now, as far as like the, the land area goes, it's not as big as Somerset. And I wish I could have thought to have, uh, you know had a picture to kind of compare it but uh but it is smaller but there's just so much stuff that's packed into it and not unnaturally packed you know where the point you know where like everything just seems like it's cluttered and you're just falling over stuff no it's it's spread out fairly well so it's uh so when you're exploring uh you know everything's kind of filled out the way it should be um there's actually uh let's see six dells six world bosses two public dungeons 18 sky shards and of course you know there's way shrines uh a trial um striking locales and and so on um now there is a uh there actually is a public event and uh you might be asking well, okay well what is it you know is it like you know a dark anchor or whatever now initially when i heard that you know when they were you know bringing up you know elsewhere and the dragons are returning to tamriel I kind of thought, you know, apart from the story, I bet you anything that dragons are going to be like a public event. And I was right. Um, they actually are a public event. Now, I've heard from other people. Now, I haven't gotten too uh, far into the the story uh, yet, uh, the main story quest. I'm still working on it. Uh, but I have heard from other people that the dragons in the main story aren't that bad. Um, but... But as far as like the public event dragons go, they're no joke. <laughs> and I don't care how much of a badass you think you are, you you better have your A game on as far as like rolling and you know getting out of the way, uh, because the dragons and elsewhere are no joke. Because um, I've seen very highly level people get killed in just seconds. You know they're that powerful. Um, and much like. Um, you know, the Dark Anchors and the, and the Geysers, you do get uh, rewards, you know, by basically, you know, you just, uh, like, if you kill, like, let's say, like, a uh, kind of similar, like, if, when you kill, like, a world boss, you know, you go up to the body, you know, and examine it, you know, to get stuff out of it. And in the case of this one, sometimes you'll get, like, you know, jewels that have been, like, like, melted together that's been in its stomach, and along with, like, backpacks that have been swallowed. That you could like, you know, open it up and you know get various uh, items out of it. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, as far as like money value goes, I, I think you know the you know Dragon Public events alone are well worth you know getting this for. It's actually really really good. Um, now I have done some a uh, few side uh, side quests, which actually turned out to be fairly interesting, and um, I've also just kind of really did like a lot of exploring as well, you know, because sometimes I get distracted, you know, from the story. Go, hey, I'm going to go over here. Or, hey, I want to go over there, you know, and wind up doing it. It's just such, you know, it's odd because the the land itself, you know, around elsewhere, you know, I've been through there a few times. And I never really was particularly fond of that particular land, you know, because it kind of looked more like a kind of like an African sort of like style land, which I'm kind of like, yeah, it's OK, you know, I'm not. It's not my favorite. I like, you know, the, the, the Glen Umbra and stuff like that more. Uh, but after I've been in Elsewhere for a while, I just seemed to kind of, I don't know, it just kind of grew on me <laughs> to the point where I really like it now. I, I can't really explain it, but it's just, I just like looking at the land and the mountains and just kind of exploring just to see what I, what I can find. And also just talking to like the wide variety of NPCs that you'll, that you'll encounter, you know, of course you'll, you know, you have your humans and, and also you'll have your uh, orcs and then you'll have like various different, 
types of because uh, you, you know like the ones that walk on two legs that you normally see uh plus i which i'm assuming they're they're because but they're kind of like a they're kind of like all related which is a, a cinch uh cat which is like this really big cat. you might have seen people riding them around uh they're actually very intelligent uh cats that you know actually talk and then you then there's a uh, other versions of it where it looks like Basic. I'm not for sure what those are called particularly, but they're like uh, small house cats that have like little outfits on that you could talk to, uh, that you could talk to as well. And uh, it's just a very you know strange but interesting uh, uh, concept. You know, it's just something that we that we haven't seen before. Now, uh, as far as like returning characters, uh, you will be uh, running along with uh, Abner Thorne now in case you don't remember who that was uh, from the he's the uh, well no other way to say it. he was the asshole mage from the original storyline uh, you know when uh, Elder Scrolls you know came out and uh, and you have to help him uh, kind of you know defeat the dragons and the other dangers that are that are going on elsewhere which I won't bother going into that because i don't want to you know spoil anything um but you're basically helping him uh you know with all that you know with all that mess as uh and there is another character from the uh from the from that story um but i won't spoil it for you but you'll be highly amused <laughs> once you see actually who it is um but uh but yeah if you played like the uh, you know the uh little uh, single mission a while back that that's kind of like a prelude to what's going on here uh you know you'll you'll get an idea of what happened you know how the dragons were set loose and and uh and so on um i don't i don't really know it may, it may you might have to do that you know if you create another character and start via here i'm not really for sure i may uh, try to create one and just to uh see you know you know where it takes me um, now the other uh, interesting things is the uh, is that you do uh, get the necromancer class, which people have been asking for for quite a long time. I haven't really made one yet because I was I kind of really want to hold off from that because as soon as they're a new class, you know, pretty much everyone <laughs> is going to be a necromancer, and I didn't want to you know be lost amidst the you know hundreds of necromancers running around. Uh, but I did hear it was a very interesting uh, class to play. They uh, also the other interesting thing is uh, the new guild stuff. You can uh, fix your guild up to where you can list it now as you know what specifically your guild's about. Like if it's in the PvP or PVE or instant dungeons or whatever. That way people can actually find you. They can go through a guild finder and actually find the guild um that's right for them and so far it's it's worked out pretty well i've gotten a a few uh, members to request to join my guild um so it does work <laughs> but anyway that's all i wanted to talk to you guys for today give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe if you haven't done so already and i hope to talk to you guys real soon take care